And this is question number 19 from the 10 Ready or TCAP practice test for integrated math 2. We're in subpart 3, so this is calculator. Uh, the big deal about test uh, part 3 or subpart 3 is that it has constructed and selected response, so less multiple choice here. Anyway, number 19 asks us to simplify the expression. The question in and of itself is a simple adding of uh, polynomial terms. So we're just going to combine like terms, simplify this by adding this to this. Write your answer in the space provided on your answer document, so combining like terms. The good move here is to go ahead and make some notation to yourself about what specific terms values are. I tend to look at what their um, exponent value is. If it's a 1, so x, I'd always put one line underneath. If it's x squared, I put two lines underneath. If it's x to the third, I put two one on top, <clears throat> and x to the fourth, I put 2 on top. And then after that I just kind of make other symbols. I used to do however many there were underneath, but it became ridiculous. I mean, when you get x to the 6th and then x to the 7th, it doesn't really help you. It makes it more confusing. Also, if I have constant terms, I'll usually circle them just to give me to remind me to go back and deal with them, really. So, here's an x to the 4th. And also keep their sign with them. Since this is an addition question, we're talking about the sum here, I don't have to change or adapt in any real way from what the signs are in front of these terms. But if this was a minus, so this term minus this, I would have to say, okay, it's either 3x to the fourth minus negative 6, or change this, or uh, like distribute a negative 1 to all the terms. Whatever. Just be careful. Anyway, back to making my marks. So I'll start keeping everything in standard form. I'm going to keep uh, my x to the fourth first. So 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And remember, the signs can only, or the numbers will only look at the sign in front of them. If you don't see one, you assume it's addition. So the fact that this is a negative doesn't have anything to do with this 15, per se. 9x to the third is the only one. So I just bring that down, keep the sign. If it was negative, I would bring down minus 9x to the third. It's not, so I don't have to worry about that x squared, I'm dealing with only this, but I should have extended these out to remind myself to keep that minus. For linear terms or x terms, negative 7 plus 5, so I end up with minus 2x. And then 15 minus 3 gives me plus 12. And that's it. That's all you have to do, and they'll also accept other equivalent forms of that, but that's the whole thing that you need to do. The problem with this type of question is it's almost so easy that you could make a simple mistake and end up getting it wrong, which is what happens a lot of times when people miss questions like this. Take the time to at least make some symbol around these so you're combining like terms. Make sure you address all of them so you don't leave them out. It's really easy to leave out 8x squared because there's no x squared term in the front and you just don't think about it being back here. But if I have some mark or some notation with each term, it reminds me to go back. So while it's not always required, it is like pretty good practice just to be able to um, have something marking every term so you don't forget them. That's it.